I want to talk about something that's common in a lot of families, and that's grandma's house. They reversed mm -hmm. the mortgage, and now they owe about $475,000. Mm -hmm. The home needs probably another $150,000 in repair. Your guys' opinion, is it worth saving that home? You know, when you have an elderly, when you have grandparents or aunts and uncles in these homes like this, is it worth a family member coming along and trying to buy that home and save it? Once yeah. it's fixed up, will it be worth? Okay. Yep, so if that after repair value is um, almost double what you owe in that mortgage, then I would definitely say it's worth saving, right? So if after you fix it up and it's looking amazing and say she owes 400, 475,000, mm -hmm. but you know the home. So like in Boston, these homes are worth two families, three families are worth a million dollars off rip and they could be a tear down, but the dirt that is with which it sits on is makes it extremely valuable. And I know New York is like that also. So in Jersey, if, yeah. in Jersey is like that. In as Jersey, well. I would say right the house across the street sold for six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Was it a direct comp for that one? Was it a two family? It was a two family, yeah. Um as well. Yes. So that kind of gives you a clear indication of what that one would be. Mm -hmm. But if this is a generational home, don't sell Big Mama's don't house. Don't sell it. That's what we say. Don't sell it. Don't mm. sell Big Keep Mama's it in the family. House. How you playing it? Life could put you in a pickle. Just make sure it's kosher. Lean on me like real women until you smell the roses. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, right? Subscriber died trying. You see the thumbnail, but more importantly, you saw the clip. You know, don't sell grandma's house, which is, we say grandma's house in our community, but truth be told, it was granddad's house. And now I'm just gonna say for for my generation which will be gen x <sighs> grandma might not you know well for our kids let's just say there ain't gonna be no grandma's house that's what i say um because those grandmas don't have a house okay but for from what i've seen with all these families you know when people say don't sell a house, we got to we got to go back into who's in the house, because a lot of times we think about, you know, an elderly person in the house and, and the elderly person does a reverse mortgage. But it's too often the reason why they're doing a reverse mortgage is either. How can I say this? because they're taking care of family members and they ask them to get a reverse mortgage and they're trying to take care of family and they owe. So a, 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 a mooch or a leech is draining them dry, okay? Or um, people get old and, and you say, look, you're, you kinda, you're, you, you can't move around. Let me, let me get your bank information and this, that, and the third, and I'll handle your day-to-day -day business for you. And they steal from you. Right. So by the time that grandparent dies, but you know, we're going to do it. But by the time grandma dies, there's probably not a house because they reverse mortgaged it to oblivion. And now you, you can't buy it back, you know, or, um, that person who is there position themselves to take over they, and, and they take over and lose it, lose the house because, oh man, I want something better. So, so they try to sell it. And then if they sell it, they wind up, you know, selling it for little to nothing and then wind up starting from scratch out in the real world as an adult. And they might be 40, 50 years old and, and they can't keep up. And now they are trying to live off of somebody else, but they didn't already, bled grandma and dry. Um, from what I've seen, the people who are doing for themselves and who are setting themselves up to be successful are the ones who probably should inherit the house because they would actually take care of it. Like, here's a simple part of it. If you got a house that was passed down to you, right? And all you had to do is renovate. 
that's better than having a mortgage. You pay the taxes and you renovate. You don't, you don't have to, if, if you live there, you don't have to renovate all in one shot. You could, you know, in a few years, you can have a, a house that's really remodeled in a few years. So what's the most important thing you got to do? You know, and, and, and this goes to people who uh, don't know how to, don't want to know how to get their hands dirty. Because nowadays, when it comes to homes, like you can put in the sink yourself, right? You can put in the sink yourself. You know, if you want to do the floors, you can do the floors yourself if you want to. You get what I'm saying? You can paint the house yourself. You know, you can you can set up a lot of the electrical, not not necessarily electrical work, but you know, you can set up the fans, the light fixtures. You know, if you want to put new mirrors in the bathroom, you could do pretty much all of that yourself. You know, you could buy um, a sink, a kitchen sink, not kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and, and you can you can put in the cabinet for the bathroom yourself. Like you could do a lot of this stuff yourself. You know, you can put up new new. Um, you want to change the door? You can change the door. You can change the locks. You can do all that kind of stuff yourself. You know, if you want to lay carpet down, you can lay carpet down. If you can, if you want to put down towel or, or, or wood, you can do that. It saves you in the long run, right? And you're like, okay, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Not a big deal. And it, but if you can't, then you pay people to do this. You pay people to do that. And like I said, in a few years, you got a whole new house. And then you got a whole new house and the property is going to go up in value and there you go. And, and this is what I would say uh, to, the, to the younger folks. All you young men and women, y'all probably be, need to be the ones saying, look, quote unquote, grandma, let, let, if, you, if you leave the house to me. My dog is trifling. Like, leave the house to me because I'm going to need a place to stay. And I'll, I'll figure it out here. Because what winds up happening is you get the older people who really ain't done nothing with them, with their lives. Because a lot of times the people that's living in, in quote unquote grandma's house, they're losers. They ain't done nothing with themselves. They've been, in, they've been at, at grandma's house since they was children in their 20s as a loser, 30s as a loser, 40s as a loser. I can always go to grandma's house. I can always have a place to stay. So, of course, they're, they're the problem. They don't know how to manage money or manage finances. They just know how to take, 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 take. So if you sell a house, and especially if you, if you, you know, one thing I can say Especially if you're like in a major city, you should know better by now. Because in some major cities, the older structures are really better built than the newer structures. You just have to do some things to them, like modernize, say, um, the insulation. Then, you know, you put a new roof on, oh, oh, new insulation. Oh, uh oh, you're good to go. You know, but. Y'all want to play this game? I'm gonna buy a whole new, new, new house. It's like, man, renovate what you got. You know, let the family, you know, let the let the responsible family members. Well, I ain't gonna say let, but the responsible family members need to, like, shut the shut the scumbags out. Like, nah, we ain't doing this, because this is part of the, the family fights, you know. And then people always asking somebody else for help, like. And I, I, that's an issue. Like, you know, now that grandma died, what, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Oh, and by the way, we got I got to take it there. Because what happens is some of y'all live with y'all grandma and y'all pay little to nothing. And y'all supposed to be saving y'all money to get on y'all feet and y'all never fucking get on y'all feet. That's a problem. Same thing with people living with their parents. I'm a, I got a plan, and the motherfuckers never do shit. So, you know, when you talk about generational wealth, you got to bring this into uh, into the fold where it's a certain it's a, it's a generation of people who is who are at fault with the loss of generational wealth. You know, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Tell me what you think. Like, share, 
subscribe or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.